Taiwanese street food is legendary. In fact, when you think of the best street food in all of Asia, Taiwan may very well reign supreme. And if you're looking to sample some of the best Taiwanese street food, you want to head to the myriad night markets of Taipei. Taipei street food is as diverse as anything you'll encounter. In the mood for savory, sweet, salty, sour, you'll find it all. Come join us for our Taiwanese street food guide as we visit three of the best night markets in Taipei to eat all of the Taiwanese street food we can gobble up. Now let's get started. All right, so it's been a few hours since we last ate and tonight we're going out for Taiwanese street food. So we're heading to the Xilin night market and we're gonna take the MRT to get there. Let's go eat. Sam may be feeling a little bit hangry right now. Just a little bit hangry. Let's ask to be sure. Hey Sam, what? how hangry are you on a level from one to 10? Like, I think I burst through 10, oh. 11. So to get to the Xilin night market, you want to take the red line to Jiantan station and then take exit one. We have just arrived at the Shillin Night Market and it's still quite early, it's 4.30 p.m. Most of the stalls start opening closer to 5 o'clock and things will only continue to get busier as the night goes on and apparently this market can run to like 1 or 2 in the morning. So yeah, still very early, we were hungry so we couldn't wait any longer. So we are having some kind of barbecue roll with green onion in it. Okay, so we are having our first snack of the night. And if you have a look over here, it's basically a pork roll and it's filled with green onions. And she also asked us if we wanted it spicy. So she put so some powder course, over it. Of course we said yes. Yes, <laughs> always. So always. look at that. Oh, that looks good. Mm. Oh man. Do you like that? that? really nice, yeah. I'm so hungry right now. What does it taste like? Because I've never had anything like this before. Well, have a look at it here. It's filled with green onions. So that's like the main ingredient in the middle. So you taste both the pork and the green onions. Okay, so oh. Sam's going Time in for Time for me to try it. Mm. Oh, it's really good. I like that the, the green onions give it like a a bit of a juiciness. Yeah. 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 And the pork is it's a little bit salty, but it's not too it's not as spicy as I thought it would be. Yeah. And we paid the equivalent of five dollars for this. So it's a bit expensive. A little bit pricey, but I mean yeah. it is. Hundred is one hundred and fifty Taiwanese dollars. So yeah. Looks good. So there is one drink I've been wanting to try ever since we got to Taipei. I love bubble tea and apparently it originated here. So, voila! Look at that. Look at that. I got one with brown sugar. So you can see me mixing yeah, you can, it. You can see the so brown good. sugar on the sides and then you la can la. see like the, the pearl tapioca yes. jellies at the bottom. Oh man, man. that looks good. Oh man. Oh man. Real deal? That is so amazing. <laughs> I love this drink so, so much. <laughs> is it nice and sweet? Mm. What can you taste? Mm -hmm. I don't want to choke on the tapioca balls, but it's almost a syrupy, the brown sugar. Like it's quite thick. So you really get that flavor coming through. And I love that it's made with milk because apparently you can just get straight up tea. And I was like, no, 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 let's go with the classic. Give me some milk here. Put the milk in there. So yeah, it is so good. So good. So Sam just had to get a taste of it as well. Of course. I'm sharing. Sharing is caring. So how much is this one? Mmm. Okay, before, for me. before I talk about that, <laughs> it's up to say how good and sweet that is. You yeah. really taste the brown sugar. Oh man. Yeah. And then you get, you get sucking up all the jellies. Man, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was uh, 50 Taiwanese dollars, which is about $1.50 US. So yeah. yeah, it's a nice, affordable, cheap drink. And so worth it. So worth it. And you know what else is cool? They give you a really thick straw so you can 
get out your bubbles. Yeah, exactly. Suck them bubbles. So for our next Taiwanese street snack, we are having Taiwan fried chicken. And this was quite the process. Like first he took the chicken, breaded it, deep fried it, and then he took a pan and added the sauce. We got sweet chili and then pan fried the chicken even further in the glaze. And are those rice cakes beside it? These look like they could like? be really little rice cakes, yeah. Oh wow. And then on top of that, he sprinkled peanuts and sesame seed. It looks, so, it looks amazing. Yeah. And that was Smells 110 good. Taiwanese dollars. So you're yeah. looking at about three US bucks for that. Yeah. Or a little bit more, a little more than three US. How is that? Oh my gosh. Good? I'm so tender, but so juicy at the and same time. How about the sauce? Sweet, so sweet. This is really good. So this was Sam's pick tonight, and I think yeah. you're going to be very pleased. I think I will. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Isn't it? Like this is uh, really tender. Yeah. And I love the combination of nuts and sesame seeds on the outside. Yeah. It gives it a crunch. Yeah. Mm. Perfect combination. And it is a bit spicy too. So if I can offer one piece of advice when visiting this market, it would be to come a little bit later in the evening. We arrived around 4.30 and it was you know, pretty quiet. Things are starting to pick up a little bit, but our food options have been a little bit limited because people are just you know, showing up and opening their stalls. So later in the evening is best. So Sam is leading the way with this one. What are we having next? All right, moment of truth. We've been playing it kind of tame, playing it kind of safe so far. We're going right into the classic uh, Taiwanese street food here. We are having stinky tofu. Oh and it's funny because we saw this tofu stand and we're like, is it stinky or not? We don't know. So I walk up to it and I go, oh yeah, that's the real deal. <laughs> that's that's stinky. That's the real stuff. <laughs> So if you've never tried this before, I was reading on Wikipedia earlier this afternoon that it smells something like stinky feet or garbage, rotting oh garbage. So yeah, it, it is strong. I'm gonna go take a bite here. Yeah. I think there's some cabbage. You can see it's on a double skewer yeah, here. Yeah, double skewers and it's got cabbage in the middle, somewhat like a sandwich. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> a little overpowering there. That is something else. <laughs> it's spicy. Um, oh man. I'm keeping my distance. Oh, it's just, you really taste the sourness of it and yeah. the, the fermented aspect. And oh, that's something that, that would take a while to get used to. I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to enjoy this one, to be honest. How about a second bite? To see All right, I'll do one more. On I'll do one more. Maybe it'll grow on you. I also kind of want you to eat most of it, so I have very little left for myself. So just go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. That is something I, I don't even know how to describe it because I've never had anything quite like it before. So, wow, that's fascinating. How much did it cost? That was only. Um, 45 so just over a dollar but a dollar thirty dollar forty for that mm. so it's cheap and you should try it if you're in Taipei <laughs> why not right yep and did I mention that scooters come zipping around out of nowhere Okay. 
so after stinky tofu comes the reward although that being said I don't deserve a reward because I didn't try the tofu but we decided to get something sweet instead this is for you Sam I'm gonna sample it for you to make sure it's okay so we got a crepe with Oreo ice cream Nutella banana whipped cream chocolate powder yeah it was the, the whole process of making it was pretty fancy so How's that? Uh, sweet tooth cravings uh, fulfilled. <laughs> You're speechless. That's how I know it's good. For your bravery, you're being awarded. This is my reward here. Ice cream this is my reward. Cone, which I've sampled for you. Hey, don't make out with the ice cream. Mm. I'm still gonna have some more. Well, I'm gonna be making out with the ice cream some hey. more. <laughs> That's so mean. It's all over your lips too. That is so good. It's so yeah. decadent. I mean, I just got it on the second bite. I got a lot of Nutella and like, oh, oh. with the ice cream and whipped cream and then the light fluffiness of the grape. Man, I haven't even. Oh yeah, that's a good Nutella dessert. Yet. I haven't. That is a nice Taiwanese dessert here. <laughs> We've already had dessert, but we thought, hey, there's always room for one more. Dessert so just keeps rolling. <laughs> and this is definitely the most colorful thing we've seen out here at the yeah. Shilin Night Market so far. Mm -hmm. So apparently, if you can see here, these are uh, pieces of strawberry that have been yeah. put on a skewer. And these are candied or called a toffee kind of fruit. Yeah. And you also notice, you notice sweet um, tomatoes and also plums as well. Plums, yeah. But we decided to go with strawberries. So yeah. let's try that here. I'm going to try eating a whole one. Oh my. Oh wow. It is like properly hard on the outside. Oh wow. Mmm. Okay. Oh wow. Mmm. Well, it's like a super crunchy. That's like a super crunchy, like sweet glaze on the outside. Mm -hmm. mm. And the fruit is extra um, juicy on the inside. Is it warm fruit? It is. It it, you can tell it's been like warmed up, cooked up a little bit. Yeah. It kind of tastes like if you've ever had strawberry shortcake, the way the strawberries are kind of a little bit warmer Ooh, like yeah. that, being placed next Look to the cake. Look at that color. It's oh, like that's so ruby good. Ruby red. Oh, we forgot to take a picture. Mmm. And you know what? A tomato snuck into the mix. Look, Are you serious? Strawberry, strawberry tomato. Where's the tomato? The little one. Oh wow. Ah. <laughs> it's, you gotta bite hard. Yeah, yeah. Oh look, <laughs> it's seeping all over the place. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh my so what do you what do you think? I'm making a mess on someone's storefront. Do you like it? That's yeah, good, but we better run off. Now. All right, but I, I <laughs> So that's a wrap from Shilin Night Market. We really enjoyed eating all of the different Taiwanese street food. And we're going to be hitting up a lot more night markets here in Taipei, so stay tuned for that. Greetings from Taipei, Taiwan. Another day and another night market. And we brought our appetite. Today we are visiting the Raohe Night Market and they are renowned for their street food. If you want to have street food, this is the one market you need to visit. And earlier this week we visited Chilin where we got to try a few different treats, but yeah. we're on the lookout for more Taiwanese street food. It's all about the food tonight. Let's go eat! So we found our first snack of the night before we even entered the market. <laughs> yeah, so we're trying a pork bun that was cooked in the oven. And this is just freshly made, so yeah. really exciting. It's like piping hot. I feel it warm in my hands. Oh. And it was cooked in what resembled like one of those Indian tandoori ovens where the bread just sticks wow. to the side. That's and this really good. was filled with pork and chai. Well, I'm not getting a lot of pork on the first bite, but it's bit, it's like very thick and condensed. Mm. So, very doughy. Let's see if we can get a better mm. look. 
All right, so we finally made it to the point where I can get some meat here. All right. Mm. Bite number two. Oh, yeah. Nice big piece of pork. <laughs> big mm. piece of pork? What? Is it ground pork? It's ground pork. pork. It's ground pork. <laughs> mm. Pork is a little bit sweet and also a little bit spicy, mm -hmm. but the dough is savory and salty, so it's a nice contrast. It tastes really good. And it was also really cheap. It was only uh, 50 Taiwan dollars, which is, um, I think, about $1.50, a little bit more than $1.50 US. So Sam got the giant pork bun, but they also have options for vegetarians in the form of mini buns. So I'm going to try that one. Look at it. Yeah, it's and that was, just, seeds. that was just stuff at the bottom of our little packet. Yeah. So pretty cool. Mm. There you go. So it's just the chives. That's all that's in it. That's, that's your vegetable, the chives, the green onions. Is it tasty? Really tasty. And I like that it's a small bite. And I like that it was a bonus. We didn't pay for it. Or I feel like we didn't pay for it. It was just like stuffed <laughs> at the bottom of the bag. We like yeah. free things. What's next? Okay, next we're having something sweet. So we stopped at Anna's Egg Tarts. And these are like the miniature egg tarts that you might find in Portugal or Hong Kong or Macau. Except these are like mini bites. So you can just pop them right yeah, in. Yeah, you can pop them in. One each. How's that? That's really nice. It's like creamy and smooth and custardy. It's really good. Mm. I'll this one too. Hey! <laughs> That's so mean. I'm not sure this is going to be enough for Sam the Giant. Show us that tiny little Look bite. how small that is. So these are these are really mini. When they said they were mini, they weren't kidding. But I love these. Like, like you said, I've had them in Portugal, I've had them in Hong Kong, I've had them in Macau. So really cool to try egg tarts here in Taiwan. Yeah. Big enough to fill a cavity, right Sam? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think? It's really good. Mm -hmm. The thing I really like about it, that it's like really creamy and sweet. I can tell that those are freshly made because yeah. they're still warm. Yeah. Mm. And they were so cheap. Flaky pastry they too. They were only 20 each. 20 so each. you're talking like just over a, a dollar US for us to both have it. Maybe like a dollar twenty. Really, really good. Nice little bite. But yeah, that's not going to fill me up. Alright, let's keep moving. Great. Ramping, ramping. Oh, okay. And now it is time for a mystery snack yeah, by Potter Eye, but we have no idea we're what being, it is. We're being a little adventurous here. We have no idea what this is. It's cold in the hand and yeah. it feels kind of slimy. And we got 10 of these <laughs> for 35 Taiwan dollars. So that's yeah. just over one US dollar. So let's just hop right in and try it. Um, I think I heard her say red bean. Yes, one of these is red bean. So it's out here. And this was sitting on ice. It looks like a dessert that was sitting on ice. Mm. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Red beans has obviously has some sugar added to it. And if I had to guess, I think it's something, the consistency is sort of like a rice cake on the outside. You think it's like a, a miniature mochi ball maybe? It could be, they might be little mochi balls. Quality control. Quality control. Mm. Is it passing quality control at the moment? It is, I like it. It's kind of like a, I would consider it to be a little bit more like a dessert than, yeah, it's definitely not savory, it's sweet. Good stuff. My hand is actually freezing holding this bag because it has chunks of ice in it. Um, but I'm gonna try a different one. Sam was having the red bean. Yeah, this is another this, mystery one. It's yellow. I, I have no idea. <laughs> the lady was trying to explain what it was, but I I don't get it. We I didn't catch it. We didn't catch it. Does it taste like any anything familiar? No? It has like the texture of bean paste. Yeah. White bean paste? Is there such a thing as a white bean? <laughs> I don't know. It's good though. It reminds me a lot of red bean paste, just different color. But it's sweet. And it's cold. My hands are so cold right now. This next snack was 
purchased solely for its cute factor. Let's take a look in the bag. They're like these little waffles or pancakes shaped like cartoons. So here I've got SpongeBob SquarePants. Let's see who else we can find. <laughs> who else is in there? We've got this looks like a like a Pokemon. That's a Pokemon. I don't really follow is that Pokemon, Pikachu? but I have no idea. Hey, if you guys Pikachu. follow a Pokemon, tell us who it is. Let's see if, if it is a Pokemon. <laughs> This looks like a cow with giant nostrils. No, that's a panda bear. Uh, that's yeah. a panda bear. Anyways, let's try it and see what's a in cow it. with giant nostrils. <laughs> Ooh, how is that? Mm. Okay, so no filling whatsoever, but it's super light and fluffy and it has like pockets of air inside. Is it sweet? That's pretty nice. This would be good with ice cream. Oh. It is sweet, yeah. It's like cake, fluffy cake. Okay, Sam, who will you be devouring so I'm tonight? Gonna, I'm gonna bite into Spongebob here. Spongebob Squarepants, Spongebob Squarepants. Those are really good. They're freshly made. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm loving about this night market so far. Everything we've had has been piping hot, freshly mm -hmm. made. Gotta love that. And it was cheap too. So we paid 45 Taiwan dollars for this one, which is less than $1.50 US, so. And we got five. We got five of them. Yeah. So we'll be snacking on those for a while. Alright. cookie deep in your mouth and she with So what are you having Audrey? It's smoking. Smoking cookie. I have to put this whole thing in my mouth. She with my teeth, yeah. not with my tongue. All right. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> smoking out of your mouth. <laughs> you look like a dragon. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> oh, it's like ice. Oh wow. Oh man. Uh, trying to get stuck to your tongue. That's why they tell you like eat it with your teeth and eat it fast cuz it like it wants to get stuck to your tongue. saw me try a smoking cookie. We also got some ice cream from the same place. This is called Smoking Molecule Ice Cream. I got the bubble tea flavor and this is the bubble tea sauce in a syringe. Look, an, an injection of it. An injection. Let me inject that. He said do it slowly. Ooh. There we go. And it has the pearls. This is bubble tea which I love. Let's see, is this gonna make me smoke as well? Like this ice cream is super cold. It was so cold it was freezing. I don't know what they're putting into it. Let's try. Mm. Mm. How is that? It's not making me <laughs> no smoke. No smoke this time. No smoke this time, but the ice cream is really good. It's dripping down the sides, but it's tasty. Mm. Yeah. And that place was a lot of fun. It's kind of like a performance yeah. while they're making your Yeah, that's what I thought too. I thought it was just fascinating to see how it was made and just it's, it's such a charismatic performance yeah. and a lot of attention to detail. And it's a lot called, of fun. It's called Cooler Bear. Yeah, definitely check this one out. Yes. One of our coolest things yet. The sugar high continues. Yeah, we've, we've had a really imbalanced uh, ratio of sugary things versus savory things. So I think after this, we're gonna have to hit up some savory stuff for sure. Yeah, all right. Yeah, let's try that. And it's also starting to rain here at the market, mm. so you can probably notice yeah. a few droplets Ooh. on the camera. That's got a nice, really, really rich flavor. It almost it does yeah. taste like bubble tea. But also, ha it tastes a bit like a, like a coffee flavor to yeah, me as well. Yeah, I noticed that too. Did you notice that too? Yeah. Mmm. Love that. Love that stuff. Even the spoons are cute. They're shaped like little hearts. Yeah. This is one of my favorites so far. to bring out the big guy. Yeah, so this is the one I did when we've been trying to hunt down for a long time. This is chicken steak. And it's so popular that there's like a, an order list. So we're just waiting for our number. We're 253 and the current order I think is 250. So we've got three more to wait for. All right. Big meal for the big boy. <laughs> what are you having next now? This is a chicken steak. And this thing is a behemoth. Like, look how big this is. And look yeah. how thick it is. I think it's fresh out of the fryer too. It is piping hot. Like it's actually, it's too hot on my hands. I have to put the plastic bag around it. Yeah. Anyways. No further ado, let's try this. Oh, and we got the chili version of it too. Yeah, the spicy one. 
Don't burn yourself on the way. Oh. Whoa, you can see the steam oh coming off. Oh my god, fast club. Oh my god, fast club. How was that first bite? Pure magic. Pure magic is so good. So crispy on the outside. You taste like the crunch, and then you also taste the, the spiciness, the chili. But then the chicken is so thick and juicy on the inside. It's like that contrast between crunchiness and juiciness. And it's so good. I love this. I love this. Mm. So I don't know if you can see this right now, but seriously, check out the chicken. It's such a thick, juicy cut. Like you can just, oh. It's so much more generous than what I thought. It's massive. You're going to like this. <laughs> Hot. That is so good. The spicy coating on the exterior. It's got this crunch. It's almost like you're having chips, like crisps. I know. It's so so good. So good. That, that's that's my favorite savory dish of the night so far. How about you? Yeah, this is one of the best things we've and had tonight. And the price is really reasonable. Sixty-five Taiwanese dollars. So two dollars. Yeah. Two US like, bucks for that. This bad giant boy. piece of meat. Like seriously, that's really good value. Imagine going to a restaurant and getting this much meat, this much chicken. Costs a Amazing lot more. Amazing value for sure. market for us we're going to call it a night and head back it has started pouring rain and it's basically just masses of people like bumping into each other with their umbrellas so we're like okay probably time to call it quits but we have lots of snacks that we're taking back with us and yeah oh we didn't finish gosh, everything just as we were leaving we made the most horrible mistake I wanted to order bubble tea with milk and I got the original without milk so it's just like black tea with tapioca bone. Well, I think there's brown sugar too, so it should be yeah, sweet. But it's not what I wanted, so I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Anyways, that was fun. We ate really well, so I would definitely say this is a market worth checking out if you're in Taipei. And yeah, that was good. So if you want to check out this really cool night market in Taipei, Taiwan, you're going to come to Songshan Station and then you're going to take exit one and it basically takes you right there. You just walk for like a couple of minutes and you'll see the market right away. Yeah, and you turn left. There's a huge temple at the entrance. Yeah, so I mean, you can't miss it, seriously. Well, good evening, good evening. Tonight, the street food adventures continue and we are going to be eating at the Ningxia Night Market. So this is our third night market here in Taipei and I feel like there's still a lot of Taiwanese street food we haven't tried, so we're going to be on a mission to try a whole bunch of new stuff tonight. Let's check it out. Tell yeah, us. so if you look down here, we are having a breaded uh, cheese and shrimp stick apparently. Ooh, la, la. And there's a lot of like uh, Taiwanese uh, seafood snacks that we haven't tried yet. So yeah. we're just diving right into that tonight on our on our third and final street food video here. All right, so it's so, fresh out of the deep fryer. Yeah, and I must say that holding it in the hand, I mean, it looks really skinny and maybe a little flimsy, but it's actually fairly substantial. Like there's a bit of weight to it in my hand. Yeah. So I'm really excited to try this. Oh, and they put some honey mustard on the outside. Yeah, they had a few different sauces, yeah. like mayo and stuff. So we, did, we decided mustard. to go with that. Um, let's just try it. Oh, oh whoa. whoa. Ooh, that cheese. Oh, cheese. Mmm, that tastes quite a bit better than I thought it was going to. Um, really crunchy on the outside. And then, of course, you get that gooey cheese. You can see it like just coming <laughs> straight from the stick to my mouth. <laughs> All right, so time for me to try this. I'm doing good on your cheese. Have another bite. Oh, you got lots of cheese on that one. Whoa, look at that. Gooey, gooey cheese. Goodness. And Stretching out. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you think? It's good. It just tastes like breaded shrimp. But I mean, it's nothing fancy. This could be like frozen shrimp. 
out of the freezer and into the deep fryer or whatever. But yeah, it's a nice little snack. I'm hungry, so I'm not complaining. the snack I've tried it before and it has a few different names I've heard it be called a Chinese style pizza yeah or a green onion pancake yeah so. and really it's neither a pancake nor a pizza um, it's kind of dark here so I'm probably a little hard to see but I'll open this I would compare it more to a roti it's like this fluffy um, yeah. flatbread and, and uh, look at that it's, and you can see the green onions in it yeah it has green onions and you can also get it with different fillings. You can get it with an omelet. Yeah. Or you can get it with melted cheese. Yeah, we tried really we tried one with melted cheese a couple mm. days ago when we were out on a little day trip. It was good. Oh man. How's that? This one has both. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> really, really <laughs> Lucky good. us. And it's really salty, really greasy. Probably not the best for you, but it tastes oh so, so good. So it's my turn. Give it a try. Mm, whoa. Well, I, I well, both, let's not make out with it now. I bit into the mm, the egg and the cheese part, like right right where the biggest amount was. So kind of like ooh, sprayed me in the lip. But that's really good. Mm. I really like this, and this is a kind of food that I could eat any time of day. I could have it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or as a snack. Yeah. And it's really cheap. We paid 35 Yeah, 35 dollars. So basically one US dollar, just slightly more yeah. than a US dollar. So really good value, really cheap. And we're enjoying this right here on the street. All right, time to give it back. Give it back. So watching this next snack be prepared was quite the spectacle and a little yeah. bit scary. <laughs> so it's, if you look down here, you can basically see that it's uh, cubed meat yeah. and it was cook, cooked by what I like to call the flamethrower. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, so he's like grilling it, but yeah. at the same time he's using the torch to cook it faster. Yeah, exactly. And we've, we've seen this at the other two uh, night markets, so yeah. it's something I've wanted to try and we're finally getting a chance to do it, so yeah. this is awesome. So I'm just gonna take my little my little stick here, my massive toothpick. Um, try it. Mm. Ah, it's really good. Yeah. Super juicy. I wouldn't call it tender. It's a bit of bit of a fatty meat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but lots of flavor. And don't choke on it now. <laughs> what do you mean? We we put ground pepper, black pepper the on ground it. Ground pepper's getting like stuck in my throat. Oh man. But yeah, really good. Really good. Really good. I'm losing really my voice. <laughs> oh man, you sound like the Godfather. <laughs> okay, so time to try this. The meat was a little bit fatty, so I'm like trying to be meticulous. Let's see which piece will be the best. You like that? It's very juicy, but like you mentioned, it's also a bit chewy. So yeah, it's not the softest meat, but it is very flavorful. And I like that we chose a simple dressing. We just put black pepper and some sea salt, so no. Yeah, because you could get fancy. you could get something like teriyaki and other things. Oh, and how much was that? This was 100 Taiwanese dollars, so just a little bit over three dollars. And this was a small portion. You can get bigger ones as well. So initial thoughts from this market. It's a lot smaller from the two markets we visited earlier this week, Shilin and Rawe. And this one is strictly food. It's probably just the length of one block, pedestrian only. And yeah, it's just little stands selling food, no clothes, shoes, or anything like that. If you want kids' toys, there's like a second block that continues behind us, but there's no food there. So we're just sticking with street food for now. And when I say pedestrian only, I mean that bicycles and motorcycles still get through somehow. I'm not sure why.
Yeah. Anyhow, uh, papaya milk? Yeah, small large. Ah, small please. Okay, 60. 60. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we've had a lot of savory treats so far, so we're getting a little thirsty. So we noticed a place selling papaya milk. So we're gonna give that a try here. Papaya milk, I have never heard of that before. Oh, that's really good. Yeah? Really creamy. Is it more really... milky or more fruity? Uh, it's about half and half, to be honest. You really taste the papaya, you really taste the milkiness of it. Um, I like that it's sweet, but it doesn't seem like they've added a lot of sugar or any at all. You taste the, the natural fruit okay. flavor and the milk. It's not overwhelming uh, amounts of sugar like saying a milkshake, so I yeah. like that. It tastes more natural. One more. I like that. Alright, so packaging is pretty cute. We've got two little panda bears on top. And they also had a lot of different flavors. They had like apple milk, avocado milk, and like a whole bunch of other fruits. So we went for papaya. This was Sam's decision. I'm not the biggest fan of papaya, so we'll see, well, let's see what it tastes let's like. See if you actually like it or not. It's frothy. Yeah. It's yeah. almost like a milkshake. It is, but it's not as sweet as a milkshake. Would you agree? Okay, that's not bad. I mean, I still don't <laughs> you, you, love you, you would have got a different flavor. I would have. Which, which one would you have got? What do they have? If they had strawberry, I would have gone for strawberry. <laughs> but yeah, I like that it's very creamy and thick and frothy. That's one good thing about the drink. A different fruit would have made it better. This one was my pick. I saw they had baked potatoes and I ordered the double cheese potato. So she put what looks kind of like a like a cheese whiz, like a melted cheddar, yeah. and then on top parmesan, and it looks like that might be oregano or some kind of spice. There's a lot of cheese going yeah. on. Yeah, and this is like steaming. It is piping hot. Piping hot. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> Very cheesy. Very cheesy. That's nice. And you can also get it with other toppings. They had like ham and corn and a whole bunch of other things to choose from. But we went for but the we double just, we cheese. We really like our cheese. Mm. I really like this angle here because we've got a bearded, red-haired man right behind you. Check it out. Are you Check serious? out the sign. <laughs> <laughs> My bearding abilities are not that good, but no? I can eat well. Oh. I can eat well. So let's try this. Man, I'm choking. <laughs> We're both choking on potato. We're cho choking on the parmesan. Oh. <coughs> All right, we're good. We're good. We both recovered. <laughs> what do you think? That's really cheesy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not the best quality cheese, but it no. does the job. It does the job, and I mean, for the price, what was it? Uh, Sixty Taiwan dollars. So yeah. So like less, two than, bucks? less than two bucks. And it makes a good snack on the street. originated in southern Taiwan in a particular city, can't remember the name now, um, but it's called coffin bread because the toast is carved into a little coffin and then it's filled. Look at that. And you can choose all sorts of fillings. We chose the, the tapioca pearls. Yeah, because, and brown sugar. And brown sugar because we just can't get enough of that stuff. <laughs> so yeah, the toast was deep fried and then afterwards yeah, the, the, they carved it. The preparation was fascinating. Yeah. All right, let's give so, it a try. It's nice thick toast too. It is thick. But you know what? It's smaller than I, what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like those giant square pieces of toast that are like super thick. So yeah. let's see. So what say you? Tastes like deep fried dough. <laughs> 
Can you taste uh, the, the, the tapioca pearls and the brown sugar? Not quite that strong to be honest. It's mostly like the taste of the, the oil and the deep fried bread coming through. So... Not my favorite to be honest. It looks really cool on camera but flavor wise not my favorite maybe with a different filling I'm gonna let you try it now let's see what you think first impressions what's your taste buds yeah, I feel I kind of feel the same way you do yeah I think it could use a little more of a, a stronger topping yeah maybe but more brown sugar the coffin bread itself is, is good I just like to see uh, a different topping more, more sugar, sugar and more sugar. And that would also go good with ice cream too. Yeah, maybe icing sugar on top or like more brown sugar inside the coffin. Yeah. Because the tapioca, the pearls, it's just a little bit bland inside. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with you on that. Yeah. All right. Well, most of the food has been a hit so far tonight, but sometimes you just can't win them all. We ate pretty well, but in comparison to the other two we visited previously, Shilin and Rawe, I would say this one has a little bit less variety just because it's smaller, so yeah. I preferred the other two. What about but you? I feel like this one is a little bit more traditional, so yeah. I quite liked it. I think I liked it a little bit more than you, but it's the kind of place where you just come for the food and yeah. the experience, and it is very busy, so yeah. I think it was, it was fun. I'd come back again, but yeah, if you go to the other two night markets, which are bigger and a little more famous, you do have more food options, definitely. All right, mister, give us instructions. How did we get there? So to get to this Taipei night market, you're going to take the bread line. You're going to get off at Shuanglian, take exit one, take a left. You're going to walk down about two or three blocks, and you're going to see it on your left-hand side. You can't miss yeah. it. So that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed our Taiwanese street food guide. Now over to you. What is your favorite Taiwanese street food? Do you have a favorite night market in Taipei? Be sure to let us know in the comments below and stay tuned for more street food videos on this channel.